I've created a special set of light rays and light bursts for you that will make adding light to your scene so much easier. So I'm going to start with this scene just to show you how they work. To load up your brush set, all you need to do is unpack it and double click the light brushes file. That will actually load it into your brushes and you'll find them at the bottom of all of your brush presets. You can change that around later, but it starts with these ones here. So we've got six. So I'm going to add these different light brushes to this scene just to show you how it works. So I'll start by choosing a color and you could choose white and use blending modes or you could choose to maybe even warm up the light a little bit to match your scene. So I'm going to do that and make it a sort of yellowy color. And this first light ray brush, I'm going to size it in the size that I want. It's a tilt sensitive brush. So you can use your brush to tilt it the direction that you want and then click wherever you want it. Position it so that your, the start of your light ray is at the window or the light source and click on it. There you've got an immediate light ray there and you can change the blending modes as well. So you might change it to something like soft light to be really subtle. I love the soft light effect. I think it looks good. Sometimes you may want to duplicate the layer to make it more obvious. You can also try hard light mode and then take down the opacity. So you can play with the opacity and the different modes. So whichever one that works for you in your scene, but I am going to stick with the soft light mode for my scene. And I really like the subtle approach to the light rays. So I'm going to create a new layer to show you the next brush available, which is this one here. It's similar, but it has differing light rays. So if you want some variety and you don't want things to look like they're duplicated, use a different light ray brush for the other side. And there we go. So you can see it's a bit softer around the top of the light ray. It's got a bit of a starburst at the top and it's a, got a bit more of a blur. So we'll change that also to soft light mode. And that one's not showing up so much. So because it's in a lighter section of the scene, I'll change that to hard light mode and I'll just bring down the opacity so you can still see it. So you can play with whatever works for you there. Create a new layer. And we'll go to the next one. This light ray brush is a long one. I haven't got any more windows, just one up here. So I might make a smaller light ray come out of this window here. And there we go. You may want to do something like mask your light ray so that it doesn't come over the table. Push it to hard light mode and turn that down. And then we've got the other light sources. So this one here is a magical light ray. I'm going to turn off the first one that I did and create a new layer. And as I said, it's tilt sensitive, but if you find that it's too hard to control, you might have an art brush, which would make it easier for you, or you can rotate it manually. So there's that light ray. It's actually got magical sparkles in it. So I really, really like this one for sort of fairy tale images. I'm going to stick it right there. The light's coming out of the window. You can see the magical sparkles in it and then change that to hard light mode and turn that down. Okay, next layer is the starburst. So I've actually simulated this starburst of the lights on this ceiling. So I could create extra light sources by choosing the color from that light, which is a bit more of a warmer sort of orangey color. I'll make that brighter and click there. You can change again the lighting mode. So hard light mode might work well. So you can add extra sources of light. And this particular brush is set up to rotate. So it will vary. So every time you click on it, it changes direction. So it saves it looking like it's repetitive. So I'll turn that one off because I don't want them right there, but that was just to show you. So if you make it quite small, you can sort of do a trail of light there, even smaller. So it can look like magical lighting. Again, use your different modes to create a different light look. So you could even have some magical lighting coming out of the window and change the modes as well. So create extra magical light. So those are the six 
different light sources, light brushes that I've created for you. Light Ray 1, Hazy Rays, Long Rays, Magic Rays, Starburst and Starlight. I think these will be really helpful in all of your scenes and make adding light rays so much quicker. I hope you enjoy them.